it's your girl Jillian. We are moving on to Taurus and Aries compatibility. Now remember, this will not, I repeat, this will not resonate with every single Taurus and Aries as we all have our own individual birth chart. You want to look up the Venus, Moon, and Mars sign of the Taurus or Aries you're interested in because Venus is how we love and what we're attracted to. Moon is how we express emotions, and Mars is our sex drive. If you want a more full, rounded assessment, make sure you check out my Zodiac and Relationship videos, and I also have Sex with the Zodiac videos. They each have their own individual playlist, and they're each devoted to each particular Zodiac sign. The Zodiac and the Relationship videos are going to pertain to the Venus and Moon sign, whereas the Sex with the Zodiac videos are going to pertain to the Mars sign. Now let's get started. Taurus's ruler is Venus, the ruler of love, romance, and beauty. Aries ruler is Mars, the ruler of sex and aggression. Their elements, Taurus's element is Earth, Aries element is fire. Not necessarily complementary elements, but not necessarily opposite either, you guys. Now, normally fire and Earth don't go that well together, but there's another factor you guys have to consider. When another zodiac sign sits close, in fact, the closer they are to another zodiac sign on the zodiac wheel, the more compatible they are. Aries and Taurus sit right next to each other on the zodiac wheel, which means it's a, a more likely to be a compatible match. Now what attracts them to each other? Taurus is very down to earth, and this is very intriguing to Aries. Aries is a very direct go-getter sign, and this is sexy to Taurus. Now, Taurus is a feminine sign. It doesn't matter if the Taurus is male or female. Aries is a masculine sign. It does not matter if the Aries is male or female. This is a perfect blend of masculine and feminine energy. In fact, the word I want to use to describe this couple is balance. This is a very balanced relationship. Now, what do these two have in common? Well, they do have a common value and goals. They like tangible things. They like having nice things. And that means working hard to achieve success. And Aries is a very, very hardworking, very goal-oriented sign. So they usually get what they want, including Taurus. And Taurus is somebody who likes to save and look for the future, which is usually why they have a lot of nice things. And they admire this quality about each other. Now, when it comes to the courtship phase, when they, when they first start dating, there is going to be a lot of romance coming from Taurus. And Aries is going to put on a show for Taurus because they always want to put their best foot forward and always entertain Taurus. And Taurus is actually, finds it kind of cute because Taurus is not really used to that. And Aries is not used to having romance either, so they're going to find this pretty intriguing in the beginning. In fact, one of the most common dates between these two will usually be Taurus making a nice home-cooked meal from scratch, inviting Aries into their nice, cozy, warm, and loving home in order to get Aries to feel more relaxed and soothed, which is really neat and interesting because Aries is a sign is always on the go. They have a lot of energy. So it's a welcome change for Aries to actually feel relaxed and at home somewhere. And no one will ever make you feel more comfortable and at home like a Taurus. Now, as far as more compatibility, they, they actually enjoy each other's differences. Now, a lot of people will say, that should put the, each of them off, but they actually like each other's differences because the other one has what the other one lacks. You know what I mean? And normally this would be off-putting when it comes to a fire and earth element, but for some reason, these two like their differences about each other because Taurus tends to move at a slow pace, whereas Aries moves at a faster pace. So when it comes to that, that common ground, they share the common ground that they like each other's opposite nature. But I do want to mention the cons. Um, so let's go ahead and dive into those. Now, this is where the tortoise and the hare come into a relationship. The hare being Aries and the tortoise being Taurus. Taurus is a very... Um, Someone who likes to think things through. Someone who likes to take their time and make sure every decision is weighed out before they make one. And Aries can find this quite annoying. They can feel like Taurus is slowing them down and holding them back because Taurus is, I mean, Aries is somebody who likes to just dump into things and just to dive right in and go at it. 
So Taurus's philosophy says, no, we need to weigh the pros and cons and make a rational decision. And Aries is like, no, you're wasting time. Let's just do it. If we make a mistake, we'll, we'll fix it along the way. So they can clash here. And um, this is probably the biggest major clash right here. And I'm about to mention this. Aries tends, tends, they tend to kind of scream, kind of shout, be loud, be combative when they're trying to make their point and get their way. And this does not sit well with Taurus. In fact, when Aries acts like this, Taurus is gonna be giving the silent treatment. They're gonna be sitting in the same room and not even acknowledge Aries. And this will infuriate Aries. And this is, this is something like a silent treatment and Neither one of them are very good at compromising because they don't know how to argue properly with each other. Aries thinks like, no, we have to argue. We have to blow off steam. Blowing off steam is healthy. And Taurus is like, no, we don't argue. There's no point in that. It does not make sense. But one thing Aries needs to watch out for, Taurus is represented by the bull. Aries is represented by the ram. Both of these signs have horns. And even though Taurus does not like to fight, if Aries keeps pushing enough, those horns are going to come out in Taurus, and Taurus is going to come out, and Aries is going to be running for their life. Because even though Aries is combative, nothing is more scarier than an angry bull. But that's because that bull let that anger build up and blew up until it caused an atomic explosion. So they really need to be careful here. But Taurus, don't be childish. Don't be doing that silent treatment. If you want to make your point across, you're going to have to open up and talk before that anger boils over. Aries, you got to quit being childish and understand that talking is going to get is going to be more effective. In fact, the best way to get Taurus to open up and be willing to listen is to come at them with finesse and love and valid points. Now, Taurus is very stubborn. They don't like to compromise, but if they're approached in the right way, they can bend a little bit, at least for a reasonable, reasonable middle ground here. Another clash here. Aries tends to be always on the go. They never really want to be at home. Never really want to be at home. They always want to be out. And this can make Taurus a little suspicious, insecure. Because they're very possessive over their partner. So when Aries is out and they don't know where Aries is, it kind of brings up their trust issues. And this is really going to upset Aries because Aries doesn't want to be possessed. That's the last thing they want to be. But Aries has to give their Taurus security and uh, let them know, hey, you can trust me. Let Taurus know where they're going to be. Give them time where they're going to be home. It's not a control. It's a nice, easy compromise. That way Taurus never has to worry. Another thing is Taurus needs romance. They need to be wooed. They need to feel loved. And that's not exactly Aries' forte. Now, when it comes to actual public displays of affection, they both agree on PDA, but in different ways. T Taurus is like hand-holding, cuddling, you know, grabbing their partner from behind and doing that nice little behind-the-waist hug and caressing the face, maybe a light peck on the cheek, or a nice little light kiss on the lips, whereas Aries is like smacking Taurus's behind, pinching or grabbing an intimate part of Taurus's body, full-blown making out in public. <laughs> and Taurus can find Aries' um, approach to PDA very superficial and very too lustful they're, they're looking for their romantic pda there's a time and place to be lustful speaking of lust let's go ahead and jump into the bedroom here now this is where aries can get a little bit impatient aries likes to jump into bed as quickly as possible whereas taurus likes to take their time and make sure their partner is right for them before they give their body to their partner. So this is where it can be a make or break. It depends on how patient Aries is willing to be. Because if, if Aries gets impatient, they're just gonna bounce. So let's say best case scenario, they make it to the bedroom, 
what do they have to offer? Now, Aries is more, like I said, is the masculine sign in this relationship, whereas Taurus is the feminine sign, which is actually going to be very great for their sex life because Taurus can be that submissive female because Aries likes to mount and dominate and conquer their partner. And this is going to be very work very, very well for Taurus since they're in that submissive role. The only part that's really going to be a clash here is that Aries likes that instant gratification. Once they get started, they want to get to the prize quickly. Like I said, this is where the hair meets the Taurus in the relationship. But Taurus likes to enjoy the body. They like to enjoy the senses. They like to smell their partner. They want to touch their skin. They want to see their partner's reaction. They want to enjoy every aspect of sex. In fact, they can enjoy sex without actually having an orgasm. I'm not saying that, that Tauruses don't like orgasm. They obviously do, but they can actually enjoy sex. They don't have to have an orgasm to enjoy sex because they enjoy the touch, the feel, the smell, the sounds, the environment that's surrounded them by their partner. So Aries needs to slow down a little bit, or if they get their instant gratification, they need to make sure that after their gratification is achieved, that they return the favor to Taurus and enjoy Taurus. Let Taurus get theirs if they haven't gotten it yet, or at least explore Taurus's body and make them feel loved and appreciated. Again, this is your girl, Jilly. I hope you guys are liking these videos. If you do, please like, share, and subscribe. Make sure you hit that bell notification. That way you're the first one to know when I upload a video. If you guys can find it in your heart to make a donation to my channel, because I, you know, I do take my time to make these videos, and I'm actually trying to save money for a better camera and better software so I can stop recording on my phone so I guys can give you guys the good videos and good quality that you guys deserve. Make sure to follow me on Instagram. I'll post all the information to the PayPal to link to my Instagram on the video details below this video. Again, it's your girl Jilly. Peace. Thank you so much for stopping by. I love you guys.